uh, consistent with the governor's order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law and banning gatherings of more than 10 people. This meeting will be conducted by remote participation to the greatest possible extent. The public may not be phys physically uh, attend this meeting, but every effort will be made to allow the public to view and listen to the meeting in real time. Persons who wish to do so are invited uh, to watch the meeting on, on their local uh, community medium. Okay, well, let me see. The meeting number is 818-9101-8230. The password is three, small z, capital P, small n, uh, capital V as in Victor, Q as in Quebec. Okay, the meeting is now called to order. And we have a quorum, I take it. Everybody hear me? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. we do. Yes, sir. Okay. So the first item on the agenda, we'll go to old business, and we will go to the budget uh, approval and explanation. Karen, can you, um, Karen Summit, can you go, can you explain well, that? So there were some questions last week. So Karen and I were looking at it, and I can see where it's confusing because what happens is if you add all those numbers on there, they don't add up. This is the one. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So what Karen has on the sheet there is the numbers add up to, they don't, like I said, they don't add up to the actual number. I'm trying to log in and um, take a look at the spreadsheet that I sent back to Karen. Um, so bear with me for one second. Sure. But I think the reason it's confusing is that there's a difference in the numbers of the $3,500 or whatever that we were going to, um, the, the, we were going to eat out of the retained earnings. Is that what the confusion was? Yeah. Was um, I think the numbers didn't, if I remember correctly, the numbers did not total correctly. And I, I think what I was looking for was something on this sheet that's gonna, that we're gonna sign that shows what the original approved budget was, what the new approved budget, the, the difference. It, it doesn't say what the difference is on here and how much we're gonna take from the retained earnings. Right, okay. So just to have to put cash into the, into the lines there. In other words, you've got Essex, Georgetown, Ipswich are all contributing so much money just have a line at the bottom. Free cash is going to contribute um, thirty-five hundred bucks, whatever is thirty-four ninety, and give that a percentage too, um, which well, comes out to be one and a half percent that we're well, right. But that, that's that's not really, the, what we what that is. What that piece of paper is is that's what the assessments are. If, like I said, if you just bear with me for one second, I will tell you what I sent to Karen. Um, I, I didn't realize that uh, this meeting was going to be talking about budgeting things. I thought you were still talking about Karen's review. So I apologize for not realizing I was supposed to be here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I just realized we're missing Doug. Yes. Oh, that's right. Hmm. So, so what I had suggested to Karen, so the total assessments, the, when you add up the numbers on that sheet, are $232,705.47. So what, what, is, what does the, the total number at the bottom of the sheet say? Does it say total budget? 
Right. But what is what is the what is the, the heading? What what's the verbiage next to it that? It says total assessments approved. Okay. So that's not correct. So what that should say, what I suggested that should say is total assessments with an amount of 232,705.47. So oh, go ahead. And what I would do is I would put a line underneath that that says total budget of 236,196.19. And then in the explanatory note, I would say that the difference is because of what basically what it says now that the, the board you know voted to fund a certain portion of the difference from retained earnings. Okay. Yeah, and I would put I would put that number in there, the three thousand whatever, you know, put that in the explanation so that it all yeah. somebody yeah. looking at this at the town hall, for example, would it, it's all right there. Yep. Yeah. That, that explanation help everyone yeah. yeah i think i think both both sets of numbers should you know both numbers should be in there with the explanation of the difference and how it's being paid right but i think what need what what the total needs to say is the total assessments number needs to be the 232 705 47 and then a line underneath that says the total budget of 236 196 19 and then in the explanation the amount of the difference. So that that's so that we didn't have to raise the, the each town's assessment from the previous budget that we uh, looked at. Exactly, and I think you know a lot of people already had those original numbers, you know, in their town budgets in their omnibus budgets. Right. So. So Karen, summit just to make sure I'm clear. Uh, this is John. Um, yeah. The town assessments above the uh for essex etc cetera, etc cetera, do total the 232 figure correct is that correct okay yep. <clears throat> all right i got if it we use the we, well um excess amount of free cash to fund the rest of the budget yep okay yep yeah. all right so just so i understand so you're just going to change the document that you have in front of you right now total assessment approved this is going to be your new number of 232.705.47. That's one yep. change. Underneath that, you're going to put down free cash of um, 3,490. Add the two together and come up with what Karen's budget is of the 236.169.19. So those are the only changes to the no, stuff. No, there's going to be the line with the total assessments. Then there's going to be a line with the total budget, and then the explanation of the difference will be in the in the footnote. Okay, so the, the explanation is separate. Yeah, you could actually. I, I see where Bill's going with this. You could actually put the third uh, put a third line saying the difference, and then put that three thousand number. Oh, well, with the I think explanation the there you run into is space because you're you're going uh, unless you make the numbers smaller you know that needs to all be on a page yeah but i mean that's easy enough to do because you could eliminate the space where hamilton was there's a big space yeah. there so that gives you an extra yeah oh yeah you get two two lines there almost yeah, yeah. so you can do it you could expand the margins even and you know there's, there's ways to yeah. make that work right good thinking and Karen, but you know, you is, want it to be—you want it to be obvious to the town administrators and the people in the towns who are looking at it, right? And that's why I'm—I'm I'm suggesting that we put that third line under both of those, saying, you know, just showing the difference, and then the explanation will take care of what we're how we're dealing with that difference. But okay, showing the difference or just showing how we got to the two thirty-six. That's all we're trying to do is to show how, that, how we got to the two thirty-six bill. Yeah. Just 236, or all you're yep. doing is just to the 232k, you're adding 3.5k to get yep. 236. It's just like add two lines. Yep. I mean, if that's the way okay. that you know that it, it needs to be presented, that's not a problem. Yeah, it's just what is Karen's budget for the year and how did you get there? Town assessment was this, and then we out of free cash, we added that to get to Karen's new budget of 236. It, it, 
agreed, but the, the, um, the showing the difference, the explanation next to the difference is the explanation as to how you got there. Or how we're, how we're funding that difference. Yes, that's correct. And Karen, uh, Karen Summit, the technical name is not free cash. It is retained earnings. Yeah. Retained earnings. Okay. Karen, and anyone, Karen, what is the balance of retained earnings, just out of curiosity, right now? Uh, hold on. 50,000. 50, I, I have that number in the back of my mind. I, I think it's, it's a about that. It's about that. I think it was 58,000. We're down from 61 or something. Hold on, I can look it up quickly. Um, is it sixty two four one one point one zero minus the three point four? Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, the three point four won't happen until next year. Right, but the the last budget I'm looking at it said retained earnings was sixty two thousand four eleven point ten. Okay, hold on one second. Let me just get the balance sheet up here. That was on April fifteenth. Yeah, sixty two four eleven ten is correct. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, we voted on this last week, if I recall. Someone, we voted. I think we it. we held this until this week. We held it this week. Okay, because it so, wasn't okay. Can we I have a motion? Okay, for the total assessment approved of two hundred thirty six thousand. Uh, one hundred ninety-six dollars and nineteen cents. This administrative budget approval, FY twenty-one, to town assessments. I have a motion. So moved. I have a motion, John Clemenzi. Do I have a second? Second. A second by Mike Doyle. All those in favor of the roll call vote. I, Robert Snow. I, John Clemenzi. I I'm like to I Actually, hold on a second. I'm sorry. I think at our last meeting, we thought Eileen had a great idea that. Um, okay, well, I'll call. I'll call. Yeah, okay. yeah. That, that's okay. Yeah, we're not but, talking right. over each other. I, Robert Snow, John Clemenzi. I. Mike Doyle. I, Mike Doyle. Linda. Linda Allison, yes. Mike Flynn. Michael Flynn, yes. Okay, that's that's it, right? Yeah. So, okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Bob James. Hi. Okay, good. All right, Eileen, do you have all that? I do. Okay. <sighs> all right. All right. Moving on to uh, number two is uh, for me to the board to uh, authorize me to sign the review for Karen instead of um, all of them signing. Bob, just one yes. thing. So we just voted to approve the assessments. Do we need to do anything else with that form? Vote anything else on that form? I don't believe we do. I, is there something I missed? Then tell me. Is um, I don't know. Karen, Karen Summit, do, is there anything else we need to vote on for that? That's actually, that's actually Karen Tyler's form. Okay. Um, but I believe, wasn't there something about how it was going to get signed? Yeah. Yep. We were going to authorize Bob to do it. I thought. No, that's for the review, I think. That's for the review. Oh, okay. Um, we, can send, we can send the form to each town, for each town to um, give to each one. Well, yeah, this this is... I guess that's the only way I can think about doing it is to send it to the t uh, town clerk or t uh, to the board of selectmen to each town and have the um, each of you sign. Would it be if Bob Bill Wilson? Hey, Bob Bill Wilson on audio here. Uh, okay. My Comcast account is uh, crapped out here, so I'm on okay. audio. Okay. 
Yeah. Can, can't we just um, print it out and send it into to Karen? Yeah. Can we just put it, it like this? Really, let's let's it, save that it. extra step. Okay. If you have the ability to 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 sign it and then um, and to email it, fine. Okay. Send it to, to Karen. Let's yeah. just let's yeah. not make Karen's life harder. Just save that extra step or two. Yeah. Oh come on, Covad's managed <laughs> to do that. I'm sure. <laughs> Why not All add? <laughs> All right, that's how how we'll do it. And then give me authorization to go and sign Karen's review. So could I have a motion for that? I make a motion that uh, Jim and Snow can sign Karen's review. Second. I have a second. Who's second? That's second. Linda. Yeah. Okay. okay, roll call vote. I, Robert Snow. John Clemenzi. Aye. Mike Doyle. Aye, Mike Doyle. Linda Allison. <laughs> Linda Allison, yes. Mike Flynn? Mike Flynn, yes. Okay. And that's everybody, correct? Yes. Uh, do, we get, do we get Bob yeah. Newberg? West Newberg. Bob, West Newberg? Bob, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Bob James. <laughs> Bob James, West Newberg. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Did we get I, William Wilson? Uh, no, Bill is alternate. Oh, oh God. Okay. And John? John with, um, John's here, yep. Okay. Okay, uh, agenda, last item on the agenda is director's goals for the year. Now, um, looking towards the, the going out a year from now, especially with the COVID and everything else, we don't know what, is, what the future lies ahead of us. Um, I had some, I talked with Karen and we talked about she did a great job last year with the with the chair in Ipswich, and we we had thoughts about that. And uh, I was talking to Bill Wilson, and Bill had a great idea. And Bill, you want to elaborate on that? Yeah, uh, one thing I did last year was to really hook up with the EXO of the USS Constitution and get on there for a turnaround cruise in Boston Harbor. Uh, and I actually how I, I got into this whole thing that um, Bob Breaker had set me up to go on the U.S. on the U.S. Coast Guard Eagle where I met the EXO of the Constitution and I was kind of disappointed that um, they did a Vietnam's veteran turnaround cruise and wasn't much publication and stuff like that and he said anytime you want to do anything like that just let me know we can set you guys up and do that so what I'm proposing here is to try and get some seats uh, on the Constitution for one of a number of turnaround cruises they do during the year um, for each town. Maybe they can give us five seats or something like that or more. Uh, and to take veterans from the district, um, get down there and meet as a group, uh, go on board the Constitution and do the turnaround, which takes several hours. And it's a, it's a big deal. I mean, uh, the, uh, the dignitary started the Secretary of the Navy, I think was the chief dignitary last time, and kind of goes down to uh, four, three, two stars, and down everybody else. So it's a big deal, a big event, uh, most memorable. But I think, Karen, you know, uh, if we could get the VSO to initiate something like that to do a fact finding thing, which I could help you out with, uh, to connect you the to the um, the EXO is now the uh, CEO of the Constitution. To make a connection there, uh, tell him what you want to do, and see what he comes back with. But uh, I can help you with that if you, if the board thinks that's a good idea. I think that, again, it would be for, for <coughs> veterans or Vietnam veterans, World War II, whatever, that we can get on board. Well, um, Karen Tyler, now next year, is it, well, or is it this year? on the Vietnam veterans. Was it March of this year or is it March next year? Well, it's every March. Every is March. The Vietnam, yeah, is the Vietnam, um, uh, Vietnam Day. So one of the things that um, I was thinking for um, a ceremony coming up, and I think this is kind of where we might be able to piggyback off of, or, you know, definitely something for further discussion. Um, because I love the idea of doing the turnaround and getting um, people on board and 
and uh, figuring out something special to do with that. So I think that's outstanding, absolutely. Um, another reason why I was thinking about doing something with uh, Vietnam veterans is there is, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but I have hundreds and hundreds of these books. So the, um, the Department of Veteran Services put together a, cause it's um, the 50th year, com, um, the 50th anniversary of the Vietnam War. And so they put together this um, time to honor book. Um, so I have uh, close to a thousand of these. And so, yeah. Um, and so what I would like to do is some sort of ceremony where we can give out these books um, at the end of it and have this be a takeaway, um, have this be a gift. There's also the Vietnam pinning, um, and places have done the, the pinning ceremony. So I think that we can definitely do something special for Vietnam veterans this year. Um, of course, with COVID and stuff like that, like, you know, it's not going to be <laughs> anytime soon, but hopefully, you know, in the spring, we might be able to do something. But I would really love to get these books out. I'd love to do something for, because a couple of years ago, um, I did the um, Korean Ambassador for Peace Medal Ceremony. So, you know, to do another era, to do, you know, Vietnam, I think um, is something that I would love to do. Um, and so that's kind of where I'm, what I'm thinking that might be an option. And, um, you know, of course, I want the board's input on that. So um, these are just some of the, you know, options that, um, you know, we could discuss. So. But these books are, if, these books are, are wonderful. They're like the table, you know, coffee table type books or whatnot. Um, it's really quality. And um, yeah, I think did that- you, you know, Did you say you have a thousand of them? Yes. That's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot, so. And your office must be full. Yeah, and so, um, so yeah. Here, can you just hold it up again? I did, I'm back online here. I just wonder what it oh, looks sorry. like. Oh. oh, that's beautiful, yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah. like, I don't know. This, so, year, uh, so, this year is the 50th anniversary of the uh, Cambodian invasion, uh, which was April and in um, May of this year. So, there was a lot of doing going on about 50 years ago at this time. Mm, that's right. That's right. There was. Yeah. I, I heard that on the radio the other day. No, yeah, it was Kent State, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot, a lot going mm -hmm. on in the country. Well, would it make sense to coordinate those books with the turnaround event? Well, that's what I was going to ask. Would you try to, I don't know, have have them combined somehow, or or do them over the course of maybe the month of March, or? Well, I, I think what we need right now, we can, you know, we can really beat this to death, but I think we need somebody, uh, Bill Wilson, I think, you know, you'd be great, you know, you have the connections, um, and form a little subcommittee here of, uh, to do this, and, you know, Karen, you'd be the point, uh, Bill yeah, Karen's going to be point person on this whole thing, but I can help her okay. connect the dots and get the contacts and stuff like that, so... I mean, action needs would be Karen and I to try and run that to ground to come back to the board and with some dates and numbers and all that stuff. You would, do you think you need another person? No, I think that Karen and I could probably handle it, yeah. I think we're, okay, all right. Thanks. Karen, what other ideas you have? Um, so the, so the Vietnam, I, I think, is very important. The other thing that um, in thinking about, so the POW MIA um, Chair of Honor, that worked for Ipswich Town Hall because of, you know, the structure and the, the building of it, you know what I mean? That there is a place that we could put the chair there. But in thinking of the other town halls, um, they, you know, there's no place to put a chair when you walk in that's, you know, visible and stuff like that. And that's just the structure of the building. Another option is there are um, POWMIA stadium chairs 
And so you can do that at a football field and there's some, you know, and I know um, mm -hmm. other people who have done that. And um, so you pick like, you know, at the 50 yard line, the, the first chair, you rope it off. Okay. Um, Roll, Rolling Thunder has um, has a chair. You um, as long as you're having a ceremony to you know to present you know to talk about it, um, the chair is free. And so that's something that I was also thinking about because um, and you know we could also you know like Triton you know there's two of our towns that are Triton and you know what I mean like the different um, like in West Newbury and things like uh -huh. that. Um, so that's, a that's another thing that I was, um, that I was thinking about that might be good. Um, and also, you know, obviously it would have to work with the schools and stuff like that, but maybe it's something that, you know, could get the schools involved, you know, since it's going to be at a stadium at their school, um, any, get the students involved. Any other feedback from anybody else on the board? Ideas? No, I think I think those are excellent um, ideas to expand on. Yeah, so the, that's what you know. And so I want to work with you guys, and we can figure out what we want. Sure. Um, and you know, put uh, realistic timeframes on things, and you know how much it's um, how much goes into it, and and you know, committee and things like that. You know. Um, I always believe that you can never start anything too early. Um, I don't like to rush into something to, to just get it done. Like I'd rather, you know, um, anytime there's a ceremony or an event, you know, to put in that, that time, like, all right, you know, like when I did the Korean ceremony, you know, I worked on that for nine months, um, prior to the event, um, the chair of honor, I spent about five, five-ish months, you know, getting that all together and stuff. So these things do take time, but I, you know, I'm pretty proud of the way that, you know, they've turned out. Um, the other thing too is, you know, you definitely want to put the time and energy into it. And, um, you know, and we still have our, you know, day-to-day -day operations and stuff. And so, doing this um, on top of the operations. That's why it's great to have all that time. So that way you can be working on it and there's all these different, you know, um, steps and, and um, kind of um, different points you want to be at and kind of come up with a, a time frame. Sounds good. Um, anything else? Any other ideas? Anything else, Karen? Um, so no, no, if there's anything else that anybody else, um, can think of or, you know, want me to look into, um, absolutely, you know, and also if you want to, you know, if there's something that your town, you know, you guys are the representatives of your town. So, you know, um, just keep in mind of what the veterans and the residents of your town, you know, would like to see in, you know, we can take it from there, but I'm, I'm completely open to any um, ideas or suggestions or advice. Um, just let me know. I, I do have a suggestion if I could, Bob. Okay, um, I don't know what your schedule is, Karen, uh, or how you allocate your time uh, to each town, but uh, I think it would be very appropriate to, for you to appear at the uh, Board of Selectmen meetings uh, once in a while, because I don't think we've seen you in a long time in Wenham. I know the, the veterans group does see you, uh, but I'm not sure your attendance she appeared, here. She appeared at our meeting a couple weeks ago. Okay. Yeah, she, she's yeah, been to, so. to Raleigh. I, I don't know when we're gonna she's have an a live about a month or two, Yeah, well, that's another problem too, yeah. though, Bob, you're right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're still up in the air with that. Uh, Karen's, uh, the Ipswich Town Hall is going to open up fully next week. Not fully, but by under we're, the doors. We're open now, actually. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. We're open very limited hours um, from now until, well, today and tomorrow we were open 10 to 2, and Friday we're going to be open 8 to 12. 
And as far as I know, we're going to maintain that schedule next week as well. Okay, Karen does not have the, the PP, or the uh, personal protective, and she doesn't have a shield yet. She needs to get that uh, in order to have um, visitors with, uh, into the office. So until you get all that, Karen, uh, don't open the office up, okay? Yep, it's still available and we've been, you know, working. Um, either Kathy or I, you know, have been in the office um, every day. So we're there, you know, our uh, regular office hours. Um, we also, you know, like I mentioned before, we have access to all our files and everything, our email um, at home. And um, so things, uh, things have been going well, um, you know, fully operational and um, yeah. Yeah. It's been working out well. Okay. So, and they're alternating back and forth. Okay. Um, any other, anything else we have? Um, what, Jean, I guess this is going to be your last meeting. Jean, you're on mute. Can't hear you. Jean, well, no, you're on mute. You're on mute. Jean. Yes. Oh, yeah. there, she oh, there she is. <laughs> I'm going to I, miss everybody, too. I want to thank you for all the hard work you put in and all Absolutely. the things you showed us. Uh, you know, you've been a sweetheart. Oh, thank you so much for everything you've done for us. Okay. Oh, I've enjoyed it. I really have. I've enjoyed working with everyone, and I certainly enjoy all working with all the veterans. Oh. It's a pleasure. Yeah. I, I, I talked to I, I talked to several of the veterans, more than several of the veterans, and they just love talking to you. They, yeah. You've got you've got a good passion for, for people. Yes. Yeah. Thank you I so them. much. I, I from the whole board. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yep. I agree. I, I just want to say thank you too for all of your assistance and your creativity and all the help that you've given to all of us. So thank you. Thank you, Jean. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Jean. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. So, thank you. Yeah. And if you take a look at our if you take a look at our website, um, Jean did the Memorial Day, you know, that whole oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, did she? Okay. Yeah, yep. And uh, I think it was you know, is outstanding. It's perfect. I agree. Thank you. Well, uh, I don't think we'll be doing much between now um, through the summertime. So I think the next meeting we should have is sometime in September. Okay. And I'm looking at, uh, why don't we say tentatively, the 16th of September. Uh, that sound good for everybody? That'll be the second. That'll be the second Wednesday of September. As um, far as good we know now. <laughs> um, that sounds good. Okay. And if Mr. anybody needs to get a hold of me, you know how to get a hold of me. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I have a one one historical note that I'd like to share with the board. Sure. Um, for those uh, aficionados of military time. Tonight will be 2020, 2020, 2020. Oh, that's right. <laughs> very, right. very rare occasion. Right. Yeah. Occasion. Oh. And, uh, we won't see it again. Wow. So I thought I'd pass that on to all those uh, people who used to think in, in military. That's right. 2020, 2020. Oh. Right. I'll have to we'll call my son and until, tell him. Until tomorrow night <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> or the night after that. Just so. It, yeah, it's, it's a very interesting number. Yeah. <laughs> so is there before, anything else anybody have out there? Yes. Um, I just wanted to um, mention Karen's email to all of us about the um, lighting up memorials or buildings. Oh. Karen, do you want to mention that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I reached out um, to each of you um, and also spoke with some people from the towns. Um, and so, you know, for Gold Star families, the state would, you know, is looking to find out if people can participate, um, and myself and, and everybody else on this, this is kind of a, a last minute directive type thing. But anyways, um, if there's a flag or a monument that could be lit, you know, like a gold or yellow for a Gold Star families, 
um, let me know. Um, we take a picture and we send it to the state so that way they can put it on social media. Um, I have heard from um, Ipswich, uh, Newberry, and Raleigh said that they can do it. Um, my understanding is um, I spoke with Brendan, and, and unfortunately, um, the way that um, it's lit up in in um, Essex, it's you you can't put a you can't um, change the color. It's like in right, right. <laughs> I don't know wired or whatnot. No, no. I, I heard that the uh, confet uh, some some uh, union <laughs> monument in uh, on the common is going to be in yellow. That's correct. Yep. Okay. In in Raleigh, so yep. for the Gold Star Mothers. I, I have a question. Is the theme only gold color? Right, for Gold Star family. Okay, because Bob, I did mention to Karen before the meeting that the town of Wenham has a very white uh, historic building, and we've got red, white, and blue lights on the face of the building, and we did it particularly for the memorial. Ah, there you go. Oh, oh okay. Yes. Oh, that looks Very great. Nice. Yep. That's great. Really good. Since we can't do other things for Memorial Day. Right. Right, right. And actually, Karen, tomorrow we're going to be um, installing some service flags at the Veterans Memorial at the corner of Main and Arbor Street in Wenham. And it does, it's illuminated at night, but I'm not sure if we can get to change the bulb or anything like that. But we'll take a look at that tomorrow. Okay. Yes, good idea. All right. Um, I, I think we've just about covered everything, unless I forgot something. So, if I, I have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Okay. That's John Clemenza giving me the motion. Second? Yes. Second? Second, Mike Flynn. No, second, second, by Mike Flynn. Okay. With a roll call vote, Bob Snow. Aye. John Clemenza? Aye. Mike Doyle? Aye. Linda Alexson? Aye. Okay, Mike Flynn? Mike Flynn, aye. Okay, mm -hmm. Bob James? Aye. Okay, we are adjourned. Be safe for the summer, everyone. And uh, thank you so much for tonight. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.